Hello students. In this video, we will discuss about solution of system of equations by Gauss-Jordan method. In the Gauss-Jordan method, we reduce the augmented matrix to the diagonal matrix. So here, given a system of equations, write the augmented matrix as A D, where A is the matrix of coefficients. So it is the coefficients matrix. So right here, the coefficients in the equation 1 are 1, 1, 1. And the matrix D is the constant terms of the equation. So here, the coefficients in the second equation are 2, minus 1, 3, and 19. And here it is x, that is the coefficient is 1, 2, 3, and 20. We have to reduce this matrix to the diagonal matrix and that will do it by the elementary row transformation. To reduce the matrix to the diagonal matrix, so we will transform, we will reduce this element to uh, 2 to 0 and this 1 to 0 by using R1. So here R2 will change as R2 minus 2 R1 and R3 will change as R3 minus R1. So here there is no change in the first row of augmented matrix. It is 1, 1, 1, 10. So this is 0. So as we have taken the transformation according to that itself. So here minus 1, 2 into the element in R1 that is 1. So we will get the minus 3. Similarly, it is 3 minus 2 into the element of R1 which is also 1 here. So, we will get 3 minus 2, which is 1. And the element of R2 is 19 minus 2 into element of R1. So, here it is 19 minus 20, which will be minus 1. For the third row, it's 1 minus 1 is 0. Then, R3 minus R1, 2 minus 1 will be 1. 3 minus 1 will be 2. And 22 minus 10 will be 12. Now, to reduce the matrix, so this is we have the upper triangular matrix. Now, we have to reduce these two elements to 0. So, this we have to reduce to 0 and here the R3 element also reduced to 0 with the help of element in the R2. So, that will do it by the transformation. R1 will change as so, this it is 1 and here it is 3. So, multiply 3 to R1 and then add it to R2. So, this will become 3. 3 minus 3 will be 0. Similarly, R3 that is also 3 into R3 plus R2. Apply the transformation. 3 into R1 it is 3 plus 0 will be 3 itself. So, second row here it is remaining same. So, we will write the second row as it is 1 minus 1. So, this is 0. Here, we are reducing these two elements to 0. Now, for the element 1, it is 1 into 3 plus then element of R2 which is 1. So, that will be 4. Similarly, 3 into 10 minus 1 will be a 29. Now, for the R3 element, it is 2 into 3 minus, here it is plus 1, so that will be 7 and here it is 3 into 12 plus, uh, here it is the element is minus 1. So, that will be 36, 36 minus 5, it's a 35. So, for the next step, we need to reduce 4 and 7, 4 and 1 to 0 with the help of this 7. So, before that, note that in the third row, the 7 is common. So, we can change that R3, 1 by 7 of R3. So, we will get the matrix as 
it is 3 0 4 29 0 minus 3 1 minus 1 after taking 7 common we have the element 1 and here it is 5 so we have to reduce 4 and 1 0 with this element of r3 1 it is r1 changes to R1 minus 4 times of R3. So here it is 4 into 4 to this it will be 0. Similarly R2 will change as R2 minus R1. So change in the first row it is 3 0 0. Uh, for the last element it is 29 minus 3 minus 4 into 5. So that will be 9. So 0, here it is minus 3. So this element is also 0. Then we have minus 1 minus 5. So that is minus 6. It is 0, 0, 1 and 5. No change in the third row. So note that it is a diagonal matrix. Now we will go for equating the elements. It is 3x is equal to 9 and minus 3y is equal to minus 6 and z is equal to 5. So rewriting the equations we will get this. So here the value of x is 9 by 3. It is 3. The minus sign will get cancelled here. Y is equal to 2 and Z is equal to 5. So, this is the solution of the system of equations by using the Bosch Jordan method. Thank you for watching.